Hey everybody, it's Brandon Scheid from Liquid Force Kites here in beautiful Hood River. And today I'm here to talk with you about the brand new Solo V3 from Liquid Force Kites. That's right, I have it here in my hands. This is the first time I'm gonna open it and I'm pretty excited to take you guys through the kite. The Solo V3 started as a project about five years ago to design the ultimate travel kite. We wanted to design something that was light, packable, easy to fly, and reliable, something that would be able to pack down into a small travel bag and it would carry you to a far-flung destination on adventures far and wide. We actually started the Solo as a strutless kite. Um, we wanted something, like I said, that was extremely packable. And after some different trial periods of doing, you know, half struts, some battens, some half battens, we kind of came to the conclusion that a kite like this does actually need some rigidity in its canopy. So we settled on a solid, really stable one strut through the center of the canopy. As you can see, the Solo here, it's a great shape to it, really nice and easy, smooth, looks great in the sky. You may be asking yourself like, why do I want a single strut kite? What about a single strut kite is great? Well, it's so one big benefit is that it's extremely lightweight with minimal amounts of Dacron and just a single strut. The kite comes in some one of the lightest kites we've ever designed. And that means the kite works not only well in extremely light wind, but also in wind with variable conditions. In those lulls, the kite is really going to be able to hang in the sky and really provide you power when you need it most. It also is extremely packable. This kite folds up into a very small size and you're able to stuff these things in your board bags, fit a few more kites for that next trip. It also has a really large power range. You can see the canopy profile is kind of deep. It gives us about a mid aspect ratio. What that does is that provides plenty of low end power, getting you across the water smoother, faster and safer. And that just relates to uh, giving you an easier time on the water riding. You have a really smooth power band of engagement in the throw of the bar. And it just delivers that smooth, steady pull that you're looking for when you're on the water. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up with our 3T tall pump, making set up a breeze. As usual, our kites come standard with max flow inflation. It's the easiest setup in the world, I think. The only thing you got to remember when you have a new kite right out of the bag is just make sure this Velcro and these valves are closed. You want to make sure that so that when you pump up, you're not wasting any extra energy. As you can see with our new pump, it's a breeze. Pumping up has never been easier. And the easier we can make the pumping up and the quicker and more hassle free you can get on the water, the better your sessions are going to be and the less tired you're going to be from your setup. You're actually going to be able to get out there and enjoy it on the water. Now it's important that you pump these kites up pretty firm as they only have one strut. We want everything to be nice and rigid and tight. There's no way you can break the kite. The pump will explode before the kite. So don't worry about trying to over pump your kite. You can see the strut really wants to spring up forward. I'll pop my max flow valve out, close the cap and Velcro down. And here now we have the Solo. Okay, so now that we have our Solo set up, let's go ahead and talk about some of the great features that make this kite work so well on the water. The first thing we wanna talk about is the shape of the kite. As you can see, it's really rolled down here into the wingtip, giving you a really easy relaunch when it's on the water. You can also notice that, like I said, it has a more mid aspect ratio, which lets the kite sit a little bit back in the wind window, giving you good power, smooth engagement on the throw of your bar. This year we've, tweak the profile of the canopy a little bit. And what that means is that's how much curve is in it, like the wing, the top of the wing. We've changed the profile slightly and that has reduced the amount of flutter in the sky. It has also made the kite feel crisper and smoother in the sine wave and the power generating zone for the kite. It really, really helped make the kite fly a lot smoother, a lot crisper in the air, and really gave us that performance we were looking for in the solo. In addition to changes in the, in the shape of the kite, you see we have some slight changes in the canopy. We have a triple ripstop made by Challenge. It's the strongest, most durable fabric we can find on the market. And it works really well in this application where we don't have a ton of stru structural componentry to the canopy. And this canopy helps give the kite life 
helps make it feel really crisp and smooth in the air and it really helps us in UV protection. You see down here on the trailing edge, we have no Dacron, um, a big reduction of Dacron here. You know, we just have some featured right here in the wingtip. What that does is that makes the kite lighter than it's ever been before. That lightness translates into low end power. It also translates into drift and smooth transitions and gusty or lully wind. So it really helps reduce the kites, um, you know, drag through the wind window and really, you know, that seam across the trailing edge really helps us with the, uh, the chattering or the vibration of the kite in the sky. The next big thing we changed on the kite is the bridle configuration. You know, as you make a new profile and you change the kite, there are benefits to also working on the bridle. You can see what we've done is we've added a lower V bridle to the kite. And what that has done is that really gave us a really smooth power engagement in the throw of the bar. So we have a lot of power as you pull the bar in and we also have a large enough range in our throw to allow you to deal with the overpowered gusty conditions that you might find on the water. Not only has that made the, the smoothness go, the bridle has also made the kite a lot crisper in the way it generates power and the way it initiates its turns. It's, um, it's really come to be a really smooth, stable kite through the sky thanks to the tweaks on this bridle. The Solo, like all the other kites in the Liquid Force kite line, is built with the highest quality materials using the best construction techniques we have available. Collectively, we like to call this our bomb-proof construction method, and you can see it rear its face in our really reinforced leading edge seam, our triple ripstop canopy, our glued and stitched canopy seams, our reinforced webbing attachment points, and our synergy strut strut platform where we have a strong Dacron strut built into the canopy, giving us more tension. And in between that strong Dacron and soft canopy material, we have a layer of Mar cloth. And you'll see that on anywhere that we have a seam from a Dacron to a canopy material. And that just gives you longer life in your kite, helps reduce some of the flutter and wear and tear you see on these kites. Our goal with our construction and materials choice is to make the kite last as long as possible, to give you the most life out of your product and build in reliability that you can trust, knowing that you can go out on your adventure far off away from everybody, return home safely, and not have any issues with your kiteboarding gear. This year, another thing we changed about the Solo is some of the sizing that it's gonna come in. So it's gonna be available in a 3.5 meter, 5 meter, 7 meter, 9 meter, 12 meter, 15 5 meter, and 17 5 meter. Now we've been looking here at the seven meter because it's easy to handle, but I wanna talk a little bit about the 15.5 and the 17.5 because they are some of my favorite versions of the Solo. Now, if you're someone who's looking for extremely light wind um, performance or someone that really is a bit heavier and needs that extra pull in the wind window, the 17.5 and 15.5s are an amazing piece of kiteboarding equipment. They have a large canopy area, giving you a ton of pull and even the lightest conditions. They're built lightweight, that single strut platform, the low Dacron application, all leads to a kite that handles really well in a light wind scenario. The bridles are also made from flying lines to reduce drag, help push the kite further forward in the wind window, allowing you to go up wind easier and give you more pull in those lighter wind scenarios. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about the Solo is just its low end power. I mean, this thing will get you planing in seven knots. If you have a hydrofoil, I think you can go in even less than that. And that's something that's astounding. Um, really is the first kite on the water when it comes to light wind scenarios. So now that we've been talking about the Solos, you may be asking yourself, you know, who is this kite for? What is, it, what is it that makes the Solo right for me? Well, if you're someone who's looking for a kite that's extremely packable, really lightweight and easy to use, something that delivers smooth and consistent power and is extremely reliable, its wind range is really large, helping you deal with those gusty, kind of often non-perfect conditions that you're gonna find when traveling or at your home beach. So it really is for that traveler, that free ride specialist, that adventure enthusiast, that person that's looking for that set it and forget it, engage the power and go smooth, crisp ride. I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on the Solo V3. I can't wait for you to try it. It's gonna knock your socks off.